Okay, you boss babe. So now that you guys are making progress with your site, I know you're so excited. So I'm going to show you guys how to customize and create your own branded URL. It's really easy. You guys can thank me later. This is why I love Wix so, so much. So when you're here, if you go to site and you're going to exit your editor, Okay, we're gonna leave. We're done with you for now, buddy. And we're gonna do, you're gonna see your site here. You're gonna select and edit your site. It's like you just ex exited. And you're gonna come to a view that looks like this. I'm gonna show you a few different things that's going to uh, benefit your business. You're going to love this. So whenever you log back into Wix, uh, that's what you're gonna see. And you're gonna be able to come here and go back in to edit your site. You can do other things as well as view your site, rename it, duplicate it, transfer it, and, and add contributors too. Um, but what you're going to want to notice is down here you have settings. So you're going to go into settings and you're going to see all kinds of stuff that's happening. So you'll notice that your plan is free and you can always upgrade and you can see more information on what that looks like and what it includes. Um, but right here is where you're most interested in at this point because this is your domain and your domain is the actual website or your URL that you're wanting because that's the your branded site, right? So whatever your brand is, so mine is True Colors by Cassie, I want my website to be named True Colors by Cassie so that when I give people the name of my website, that's where they go. So this is what you want to do. So when you connect to your site, you want your domain. <clears throat> so you're going to click manage. And you can buy a new domain or you can connect a domain that you already own. So if you already have a domain and you already had, let's say you went through GoDaddy or another domain provider and you already have your your domain, then you can click here and connect it and walk through what that looks like and transfer your domain and register it through Wix. And the reason why you would want to do that is because when you build your about page, you would want your site to be like truecolorsbycassie.com. I'll show you slash about truecolorsbycassie.com slash blog truecolorsbycassie.com slash resources so forth and so on. Otherwise, it's going to be that long name and it doesn't look very professional. Now, one thing that you can do, and I did this for a little brief period, is I had my truecolorsbycassie.com through GoDaddy and I went to GoDaddy and I just linked it over to my Wix site for the longest time. But what happened is it linked it over to my homepage. So anytime somebody went to truecolorsbycassie.com, it just redirected them over to my Wix site. But whenever they went to another location, that the URL was a really lengthy URL. So I could never give people a specific URL link like to my about page or to a specific my resource page. I just had to give them my true colors by Cassie.com. So it limited me. And what I did was I ended up connecting my domain and transferring it to Wix. And it was the best thing that I did. If you don't have a domain, you can buy a new one right here. So it doesn't matter what domain provider you go through, you're going to have to purchase that domain. And you can search here. If you don't have a brand name yet, you can come in here and search. I always recommend that you use your name. There's no better brand than your personal name. The only reason why I don't use Cassie Causey is because at the point that I was going through this effort, I had already just purchased and paid a lot of money for my uh, domain and my logo. Um, so that's why I didn't do it. Um, now, when you're looking for your domain, you can do a search here to see if it's available. You can see that my name is not available. So somebody else has my name already. Cassie.com or Cassie Causey is already a website and it looks like it doesn't exist. But what you would do is you would come in here and see if it's available. If it is available, 
then you would select it. And Wix does ask that you upgrade in order to get that domain. With the upgrade, um, or you can, I think it does give you the option to uh, just purchase just the domain, and I'm not sure what that cost is. Um, but when you do upgrade, let me show you. You do get, with some of these, you get a free, the free domain for a year. So in this one, for example, you get the domain for free and you can use that voucher. So um, you can go through that effort there to get your domain. You can always go through GoDaddy as well and get a domain that way and compare the different costs and then just forward your GoDaddy domain over to your Wix site. And I did that for a brief time. If you want to change your site name, you can come here and manage and you can always change your site name. It's going to give you a URL specific from Wix that they create based off of when you set it up. Um, but you can control the end after the forward slash, you can control that there. You can manage your social preferences here and you can add your image so if you want when you share your website, if you want an image to pop up, this is where you would do that. You just come in here and add an image or your logo and it will pop up anytime that you share your, your website. If you have Facebook, you would enter that there. And you can go through here and update your notifications for whenever anybody is on your site. I love, love this feature because when I'm sitting around, if somebody hops over to my website, I get a text notification that somebody from New York is on my website. And if they've ever registered on my site, it tells me exactly who it is. The other day, I could see where a client of mine, Dewana, was on my site. And it looked like she was navigating from a page to a different page to another page. And so I sent her a Facebook message to see if there was something that she was specifically looking for or something that I could help her with. Turns out that there was. And so I was able to go ahead and provide her that perfect client experience because of these notifications. So I really, truly love the notification feature here. Another great feature, you guys, is the customer management. And this is where we're going to get into some of the funnel funneling features and how that they play into <clears throat> collecting your client details and how you can use those in the future. But you're going to create a contact list and you're going to use this list to generate marketing emails and um clientele to your or sorry marketing material to your clients and so a more of that comes from the funneling and how that works of getting them back to your website that all stems from automation so how funneling works is when you create valuable content and you share it and you create interest and it's a free download for example when they click to download that free material then you're going to ask them for their name and email. When they give you their name and email, it goes into this contact list and you can create different contact lists that you can filter based off of different, different ways that you want to market to your clients. Well, when you do that, you can create automations, automated emails that trigger based off of when people enter in their email information. And you can design these emails to automatically automatically trigger and go to let's use this one for example you can design the email and add whatever you want to in the email and it's going to go to your client and give them even more value or ask them more questions and provide more context to your client. That is the funneling feature that I'm talking about and I'm going to share more about that as we get more into training. You can also trigger task and reminders. So if you have a client that placed an order with you, you can trigger a task that's going to remind you to send a reminder email or a follow-up email to see how they're doing, how how is it working for them. You can also trigger that automated email that's going to do the same thing. There's also features in here for price quotes and invoicing. 
Something that I love is under marketing tools. You guys, there are the email marketings that you can generate on their own. And there is also social posts that you can generate that's going to go out to your social network. And there's other integrations that you can do as well. Something that I really love under Marketing Home, you can create a promotional video right here. Use a template. I, I use this to create an intro to my YouTube videos, but you can come in here and create um, a per video to market your business or promote your business. And you, when you do this, you can add videos, you can add images, you can create text that's going to go in the video, and also music. So this is a really great tool as well. So I just wanted you to get familiar with what is back here because this is a really great useful tool and why I love Wix so much.